Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. So today I will try to discuss a very important topic. How we can easily add the satellite imagery in our R studio using the RGE package. Okay, so I today I will try to show you this process how can easily add the data in the RGE package in the R studio and visualize this satellite imagery. Okay, so first of all, uh, I need to import the library RGE. Okay, so first of all, I need to import the library. So for that, I can simply use a function library. library then i simply call my package name and this package i already installed in my system and if you don't know how to install the rge package then you can go to this video description here you can get find out a link about that rge how we can easily install you can easily find out this uh, video and i also add the video description in this video link so you can easily install it the rge package and here i already installed it this package so i simply import my library rge and click to the run so now you can see it showing that it will be okay there is no problem i successfully imported my library after that i need to use at the ee dot ee initialization initialize and then click the run in this time i already initialize with my google earth engine account so that's why in this time i don't need to use the again instead uh, initialization it already showing that you can see uh, user not defined initialize google earth engine in this time we can get here the done because i already uh, initialized and also connected with my art engine account okay so this is my user id about the art engine account and if you don't know how to do that so you can simply um, follow my previous video which i already uploaded in my youtube channel then you can easily idea about that how you can easily install it and also initialize the art engine with the art studio okay so in this time first of all i need to import the image collection okay so for importing the image collection what can i do i take a variable name so i put the variable name is the image and in the r programming studio r programming language we define the variable using this symbol okay so in this time this is my variable name and i use this symbol basically this symbol we are using for uh, instead of the equal sign okay then i simply put my image okay so in this time here i already open an image in my uh google earth engine code editor suppose this is my google earth engine code editor so here i already open the image so just i simply use the image i simply copy the image id from here i simply copy and paste in the paste in here okay but in this time here you can see e dot image okay so in this time all time when you are using the code in the rge package in r studio all time you need to use the dollar sign instead of the dot sign okay so this is the formula about that all time instead of the dot sign where you mention here the dollar sign okay so in this time this is my image okay so basically this is a sentinel 2 satellite imagery uh this sentinel 2 satellite imagery i want to show in this time i want to load at here so just i simply take a variable name image in this variable i just store it my image in here okay and yeah uh, ee dollar sign then image so this is the syntax about the r studio programming language okay so now let's go about the image so just i simply run this code so for that it will be imported in our code editor the image so just i simply click to the run you can see it will be successfully imported and there is the no error in here after that i need to focus the center of this image so how we can do that so i simply use at the map dot center object so mainly we are using at the map dot center object this function but in this time in a state of the dot notation we are using here the dollar sign all time okay so then put here this image because i want to focus on the image as well as i also want to display the image in my map so mainly we are using here the map dot add layer function for displaying the image layer in this time instead of the dot notation we put here the dollar sign okay then call this uh, object name is that image so simply i use at the image okay 
so now uh, it's showing the image if you want to run the code so just I simply run the code click the run in this time one image is added in here we can find out the image you can see it will be working and in the viewer side we can get our image when it will be successfully done okay so now it appeared you can see i find out my emails okay so this is my emails so actually these are tiles about the emails so in this time i add here the visualization okay so adding the visualization how i can do so for adding the visualization in this time i just simply make a list okay uh in this list i want to add all of those uh, band and put in here so for that what can i do just i simply take a variable suppose visa this you can use any name then instead of the equal sign i need to use this symbol okay all time you can see i instead of the equal sign i use this symbol in this time i take the variable name and after that instead of the equal sign i use this symbol okay then after that i simply use at the mention the list function so list in this list i simply put all of those argument such as i mentioned here the band then minimum maximum uh, spectral signature all of those things i mentioned in here so for that what can i do just i simply take a variable um, bands okay after that i can simply make all of those band and before the band i need to use here that uh, before the band i simply use here that a um, c okay c means that uh, band okay when you want to mention the c and put all of those band which you want to display in here i want to display the band such as uh, b4 red band then put here that uh, b3 green band and also put here that b2 okay so i put here this b4 b3 and b2 after that use here the comma sign and after that i simply mention here the mean so put here the mean mainly i want to show the reflectance uh, this value is the different on you also i simply put at the 360.02 and also put at the max value about that max value such as uh, 1759.98 okay and also put at the gamma value so it's not a fixed you can use any value for your visualization okay so i put at the 1.3 okay so now my uh, visualization parameter code is ready in here so now i want to display the again so what can i do just i simply use at the map dot add layer add layer uh, but instead of the dot notation i use at the dollar sign okay so this is the symbolic syntax of the r studio use the dollar sign and after that i simply call my email so this is my email simply copy that and paste here and then use the comma sign and then call this variable name visualization parameter simply copy okay so after that if you want you can also add here that layer name suppose i put the layer name this is the sentinel 2 suppose put at the true color okay so now what can i do i simply uh, run the code again for showing the true color composite so click to the run so now it displays the result about that okay i think something wrong in here okay so in this time what can i check the code again so this is the visualization parameter i make the list about that okay then put at the variable name is the bands and i define all of those band in here before v3 and v2 after the two take okay so in this time we did not use at the colon sign we need to use at the equal sign okay so simply use at the equal sign okay then click to the run again so i hope now it will work so let's go okay so it perfectly worked and we visualize the true color composite of the satellite images in here using the r studio it will be appeared for the true color visualization about the satellite image you can see okay so now you are using this satellite images and make the different types of work such as land use land cover classification and also do for the different types of uh, machine learning as well as the different types of uh, deep learning algorithm you can easily do okay so this is the process how we can easily add the data different types of data it can be satellite image it can be vector data so any types of data from the art engine public data catalog how we can easily add in our art studio and visualize that
okay so if you want to uh, learn the lot of things about the art studio then you can easily join our online training program about the art studio so here i in the description i put all of this in, uh, information about this art studio for the google ads engine platform you can easily join as well as if you want to join our upcoming online training program such as for that is mainly this training for the totally beginners who don't have any knowledge about the google ads engine platform and also javascript programming so you can easily enroll our this online training program it will be start from the 5th august okay and uh, mainly first five days that we will get the 50 percent discount and that total class seven days online training program class will be taken only for the friday and saturday in a week and this is the class duration is day you can take the two three hours live training program and this is a time period about that class uh, time period total three hours and training mode is the english if you want to join this online training program just contact with this whatsapp number as well also contact with this email okay so as well as mainly this online training program we are focusing only for the beginners who don't have any knowledge in google ads engine platform or any knowledge about the javascript programming or python programming so you can easily learn all of these things from me as well as you can also do any types of remote sensing analysis using this platform such as land use land cover classification air quality monitoring time series analysis calculating any indices supervised machine learning unsupervised machine learning lot of things you can easily learn from here okay and it's totally beginners if you have any fear about that programming language so i hope after completing this online training program you can easily learn all of the things as well as um you can here you can find out all of this course content so you can also try to read all of this course content what you will learn after completing the total seven days online training program you can easily learn i will add all of this description in our video description uh you can easily find out from here and as well as you can also get the some benefit from this online training program you can get the course is certificate after submitting all of those assignment you can get the material slide pdf you can get the practice code you can get the recorded video class and you can also get the lifetime teaching support from our institution okay so if you have any question or if you want to interest on this online training program uh, just you can contact with this whatsapp number as well as you can also contact with this email then you can get all of this information and complete your registration and join our online training program okay so today is no more stay safe stay happy thank you